heaven? Okay, can I ask you what do you think? I think the same. I don't know. <laughs> Are you a Christian? Yeah. I don't think there is a hell of you. I think everyone goes up there, yeah. even if they're not supposed to. How does that work? Maybe if you commit a crime, you go up to heaven? There's different parts. You got a bad part over here, and you got a good part. There's like a bad neighborhood. Yeah, and a good bad neighborhood. neighborhood and a good neighborhood. So they keep all the bad people together, so if someone gets hurt, the bad people fall. That will get them this thing. Heaven! 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 heaven. You guys in heaven, alright? Yeah. So what, what type of people go to heaven? Christians, and Baptists, and Catholics. They're all Christians. Really? What type of people? Well, it depends what your beliefs are. Okay. You believe that, God was, that Jesus was sent to earth to die for our sins, but right. if you don't believe that, it's just much more sin to continue to hell. So, uh, I'm done thing bad. I'm not a criminal. I believe in God. Okay. I believe in God. Okay. All right. It's something. Okay. Because I believe in Him. Believe in Him. Yeah. I know that Jesus died on the cross for a reason, for the remission of our sins. And if you pray to God and all that kind of stuff, and you know what you've done wrong, I mean, you can't be like, oh. Because I know God will forgive me. You have to like, if it's like a mess up, you pray to God. You don't just keep doing it. Would you consider yourself a good person? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna take you through a good person test. You ever lied before? Yes. All right. What does that make you? A sinner. A sinner. A sinner, or more specifically. If I told a lie, what would you call me? You'd be like, you're a liar. Yeah, liar. Exactly. liar. Just one lie can't make you a liar. You're gonna have How many does it take? Just enough to... If I rape one person, would that make me a rapist? Or would I rape multiple people? Right, I'd call you a rapist. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. No. What do you call somebody who tells a lie? A liar. A liar. Have you ever stolen anything? <laughs> no. Never? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're not lying to me now. I'm sure I'm not lying. <laughs> no. Have you ever stolen something? Yes? When okay. I was little. What does that make you? A Just that stealer. one time he's a thief. <laughs> a thief. <laughs> a stealer. Uh, Stop you. You want to be stealer. Thief. You thief. Stop thief. You thief. Okay. Liar! Have you? you ever stolen something before? Yes. yes. Alright, what does that make you? A stealer. A stealer. Like Pittsburgh. No, a thief. A thief. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah. Like as a cuss word. Okay. Yeah, God says that's very serious. If you use his name improperly, you won't hold anyone guiltless. All right. Have you ever lost after a girl? Yes. Don't even yes. say no. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Jesus Christ, when he was doing his ministry, he said committing adultery is the same as lusting after a girl because if you lust after a girl, you actually have sex with her in your heart. That's what the Bible says. So, basically, what would that make you? An adulterous? An adulterous person? An adult. An adult. Um, have you ever killed anyone? No. Yeah. Okay, turn around. I haven't. Uh, have Watch you ever been it. angry with somebody? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is what Jesus says. Friend. If you're angry with your brother, you've already committed murder in your heart. You just told me that you're a lying, thieving, adulterous person at heart. Now, why would God let you into heaven? I think I think you I think you you will. What God said, here's here's it's too late for you, you know, because you're you're dead, you know. So here, He's sending me to tell you guys. So I'm going to tell you guys how to get to heaven. Okay. Basically. It's not believing in God. It's not wanting, you know, to get into heaven. It's not anything like that. It's acknowledgement that Jesus Christ came, died on the cross for everybody's sins. His physical death died for everybody's spiritual sins, right? So that if you accept that gift of eternal life and that accept that, excuse me, that gift of uh, forgiveness, then then you are forgiven, right? And you can go to heaven. But you have to, you can't just say, God, forgive me, and then go party. You know, you can't just say, God, forgive me, and then go to drugs. Right? Yeah. You know, you can't do that. Because that's not, that's not genuine. That's not real. It's a real life, everyday activity for Jesus Christ. And it's, it's a, a living for Him and a heart desire for Him. And that's basically... Hey, I, I gotta go. Yeah, right, thanks. Right, thanks, thanks for interviewing me.